Hey everyone, this is Matt here, and we're going to be playing FTL today. Awesome indie game, you know. Uh, I'll give a quick run through of the options real quick. Uh, as you can see, low resolution, but you can stretch the full screen. Um, black borders, you know, whichever one you want. Right now I'm playing windowed. Um, there are some other stuff. It has achievements in game, which is pretty cool. Dynamic backgrounds, which everybody likes. Um, music, uh, volume, which... Don't have it too loud. Have it right about there. Uh, and the sound volume, which is pretty cool. We'll have it about there. All right. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit new game. There's a couple ships. You know, I've unlocked the second one. Most of you probably know what the game's about, but for you, those who don't, it's a very replayable game. It's like uh, uh, Binding of Isaac in that way. Uh, it's relatively short, but you can play through it in a lot of different ways. Um, you get a crew together. You have a ship. Uh, you go through a series of systems trying to build it up, you know, you're uh, running from a rebel fleet that you've stolen information from. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go with the Kestrel. I'm going to play it easy because I'm not good at this game. It, you, it would not be fun just to watch me die over and over. Well, it might be, but uh, we're going to name it the OSS Enterprise. Everybody loves the Enterprise. Uh, and, uh... I will take control of this ship because everyone knows I'm the captain. That's how it should be. I uh, will give Tony the second seat. Um, we'll go ahead and give Scott a third seat. Sorry, Tyler, if I'll give you a chance, I'll give you the next one. Um, all right. Uh, apparently, later on, there are layouts. I haven't really gotten to that point yet. Uh, there are a lot of weapon systems and stuff, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit start. All right. Here we are. Um, this is the little intro screen. Well, the first system or the first jump area. I'll run through the UI real quick up here. Ship, you can upgrade with these scraps. Just get them up there, you get them from pretty much everything. Here you have your crew, different races, different abilities. They get better at stuff, as you can see over there in the right. And so you want to specialize. Equipment, lots of stuff can go on your ship. Augmentations, cargo, drone systems. Uh, your hole, don't want that to go down. You lose shields, you can have up to four, you upgrade your shields. This is your jumps, you need these to keep jumping. That's a big problem later on, i found. Missiles, you know, there's weapons that don't need missiles, those are really valuable. Um, drone parts, uh, if you have a drone system, you know, you can play with those. Here's your evade, which is your chance of dodging incoming fire, and oxygen. You kind of need that to live. Uh, here's our health and our skills. Down here is power. This over here is your power. And the way it works is you have to power up systems like taking that, powering that up will take that power. Um, like power down my engines, I can't move, but then power up my engines all the way. I can, my evade goes up a little bit and I can move a bit faster and jump a bit faster, I think. And then like stuff like that. Shields go in blocks, so you can't power down half of shields, you can't go to half power. And then power down the oxygen, but we all start dying pretty quick. Med, uh, med bay, heal people inside the med bay. Over here is your subsystems. Um, they don't require a power. Well, they, uh, it's pretty much separate. You can upgrade all these two. Cool trick, you can open all the doors. If I hit it again, it'll vent in this space. But all the oxygen is gone in basically seconds, so I'm not going to do that. And then close the door of the ship. Um, anyway, I think that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and jump. Alright, um, here's the little system map. There's a whole bunch of sectors, so uh, we're just going to go ahead and jump to there. We're going to explore the asteroid field. We're, we're pretty gutsy. We're going to go ahead and explore it. Alright, there is a pirate ship. Alright, let's power up our weapons. Not enough power. Power down the engine one and then power up the weapons. Yeah, you can pause with space, which you basically have to do. And I forgot to send people back, so we're going to send Scott to the weapon bay and Tony to the shield bay, and I'm going to stay up on pilot. Alright. Asteroids take our shields down, so this is a really dangerous situation. Uh, missiles go straight through shields, so they're great for taking out shields, so you can just blast them. So I'm going to do that. He, they hit our shields, or they hit our weapons room, so we can't get our laser back up. But I'm going to keep Tony on shields and trust Scott with repairing that. 
Ah, they're trying to escape. Well, did I tell you no one can escape against me? Blast their engines. There we go. Good job. Alright, so we got some fuel, some drone parts, and some scrap. I'm not really planning on going drone in this run-through unless it falls in my lap. But anyway, now we're just holding. We're going to send him over to repair the med bay because we need to keep our shields up while we jump. Hopefully we get some more people soon because I want to have one person stationed in every major room. That's my goal. Um, not gonna go to the store quite yet. There's a couple stores. They offer different things. You can repair and stuff there. Um. Yeah, we'll rescue the store. Alright. We'll rescue the store. Wait. Oh, wow. I'm stupid. Didn't even want to finish it. Tony, go help him. Alright. Uh, I'm going to send him back to the engine so we get a bit higher evade, I think. Yeah. And uh, power it up so we got a nice high evade right there. One sec. Power down. Artemis. Boom. Alright. Now we have a really high evade. Still don't know what's going on over here. We're going to jump over to this distress beacon. So see what's happening. Keep in mind, the rebel thing is coming behind me. Now, from what I understand, we're at risk of losing a crew member here. We're going to go anyway. Who'd we lose? Fuck, we lost Tony. Um, damn, that sucks. Sh really shouldn't have done that. Alright, well, we'll, well, we'll try to power through. Um, move him there. Go ahead and jump. We're gonna we're gonna go to a store and we're gonna buy someone. Like normally I would have upgraded by now, but I we really need someone. Yo, let's say this federation ship. Alright. This is gonna suck. We're we're gonna pull me off evade or off piloting. And power up Artemis and try to just fight. I'm committing to the win and I really think we have it. Alright, let's go ahead and set up that shot. We're going to let Artemis hit the shield first, then we're going to try to knock out their weapons. Okay, that's it. Alright, good hit. Ah, damn. Alright, so now we're going to take a shot straight at, straight at the cockpit. Alright, I'm not going to use the missile unless I have to. They're missiles, you know, they cost a lot more money, so I'd rather use the burst laser. Boom. Down goes the rebel fighter. Alright. I'll take that. So, let me back up there. Scout, here you go. We're going to open that. Scout, rush in. Start fixing. I may be wrong, but I think opening that door makes it so that he, he doesn't... So there's a little bit more air. That's just my theory, though. I may be completely wrong. Chances are I am. I think that helps air it out faster. Again, may be wrong. Um, probably am, but whatever. Get him healed back up. Uh, leave him in the weapons. Well, jump him to engines for now. Yeah. Alright, let's jump to the store. We have 100 scrap. Alright, so we're going to repair all. He is not selling anyone. Which is aggravating, because I wish he was. Um, mm, hopefully the other store is. That, as you can see, that uh, fleet is kind of up on our ass now. Fuck! Sell me someone. Um, that's a good long-term investment. That scrap recovery arm. It pays off after a little bit. Mm, shouldn't do it. Gonna do it. All right. Um, gonna go ahead and buy a missile there. We're gonna go to ship. We're gonna grab. One weapon. There. Alright. 
And, um, you have to invest very well weapons. This will slow down the fleet from chasing us, so we have time to take check out another couple more areas. Alright, so, we need to knock him out really fast, because he's... It'll we'll lose basically everything that we got from jumping into here. Um, come on, hit those engines. I'll knock out the coke. There we go. Ah, oh, fuck. He took out our oxygen. Okay. Start repairing that. I'll go back and repair the scanners. Ooh, me and Scott, the two-man space crew. Sucks that we lost someone so quick, you know. It really does make it a lot harder early on like this. Two men in it. It's my fault. I shouldn't have risked him with those giant spiders. But you know how it is. Alright, so it's... Ah. Damn it. That sucks. Alright, so... Unpower... Well, I'm going to have some evade. Um, oh, he doesn't have shields either. That is a good thing. Rock his weapons. Come on, rock it. We're gonna, we're gonna... Hmm. Alright, so, uh, he is just gonna start wrecking us. Alright, change my mind, change my mind. Droid. Dro yeah, alright. Alright. Haha, -ha, you're disabled. Deal with it. Oh, that hurts. His shields are up. My shield should be up. Um. Fuck. All right. Can I power those down? Ah, uh, damn it. This is not good. This might be the end already. It's horrible. Go fix the oxygen. Oh, come on. Save us. Fix. All right, buddy. Come on. You got this. Come on. We can save it. Oxygen is coming back. Don't die, Scott. I can't make it without you, buddy. Whew. Hopefully we don't get hit by lightning or something. Alright. Okay, now the slow process of fixing everything. Oh, boy. Oh, man. This is, this is just a hard situation. Hey, my people are going to be really good at repairing stuff. That's one positive, I guess. Let's see. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Okay, here we go. Power down the burst laser, power up the engine so we can jump. Alright. I'm gonna risk it. <laughs> I've already had way too many risks, but I'm gonna jump over there and check it out before I go to the exit. I shouldn't, but I'm gonna. Alright, um. We have time. Oh, that was one of my quests? Well, sorry. My bad. I forgot about that. We want this. We can handle it, I'm pretty sure. Rock those shields? Yeah, rock the shields and then burst laser the weapons a second after. Oh crap, power our shields up. That's really important. Wow, that would have been bad. This 
should finish him. There we go. Good job. Yeah, that salvage arm should be helping us out. That scrap recovery arm. And let's get the F out. Hey, well that's... Well, I'm not really... Well, I don't have the system installed. That would be worth a fair amount of money. So. Alright, well, let's go ahead and jump the F out before we die. Huh. This is just a rough situation we find ourselves in. Oh, man. I don't know which one. Let's go Uncharted, because I don't really feel like dealing with hostiles in the precarious situation we're already in. So. Um. Yeah. Ugh. We're just kind of head straight for it. Relatively. We might loop around it if we have a lot of time, but... Alright, because I'm already really afraid of this whole situation. Sick. What's Manning do? Yeah. That's what I thought. Mmm, we're not gonna waste that, actually. I don't know if he's set of eight. Yeah. All we really have to do is take out weapons and we're fine. He's sitting duck. We need to... Oh, man. really need to repair now. Oh, wait, that's really good. Uh -huh. If I only have the system installed. Now I'm thinking, if I get a chance, you know. Alright, should be doing this. Ooh, I wish someone was yelling at me to remember to do this stuff. There we go. Um, need to spend all those scraps I'm getting. Um, this is good. I'm fully power everything. Need to get more crap. That's what I really need to do. Alright. I'm feeling like this is going to be dangerous. Alright, so let's just drop right there onto the weapons. I feel good. Like I shouldn't, but I feel I feel pretty safe right now. We're not facing anything really bad. You know? And um got double shields up, which so we're kind of ahead on that. We got a lot of money. Well not right now, but money doesn't feel like a problem. Feels like a problem is we only have two people when I should have like four right now. I feel behind. Um in that aspect. Ah, let's go. I'm a dangerous man. Live free. Take out their weapons. Normally, normally I go for shields, but... Didn't disable either one. Ain't that a bitch. Screw yours. Crap. At least now they're sitting duck, but I spent more missiles than I wanted. Just finish them off. There we go. Alright. Um. Hmm. I should be investing in other stuff. Um. Door system is surprisingly good. Like, you wouldn't think it would be, but it's actually really helpful. And that's also really cool, because you can see their interior. Um, I don't know. Hmm. 
I'm gonna buy a weapon slot right now, so when I get another weapon, I can actually use it. But, um, yeah. No, that should do. Once I can find a freaking store somewhere. See, yes! Ah, should have guessed. That, that is, seems exactly like where a store would be on this map. Alright. You're going bye bye. You're going bye bye. Because I don't want drone control. Um, fix me. Well. Um, drop a couple missiles. They're still not selling any people. Which I guess you don't get to later on. But that would be really good. Um, want to keep money, but for now I'm going to buy. Uh, that, and then another missile. That'll do me, I think. I want to save the rest. Um. Alright, so. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and buy that door upgrade. And, um. Why not? Just clear our money out real quick. Um, next we're going to buy power, obviously. But now you can see our doors are reinforced, harder to break down and stuff. Obviously you haven't gotten there yet, but later on people will jump on your ship and it is a bitch to deal with if you don't have one of those aliens who are really good at fighting. Alright, so... Hopefully we can disable his shields with that. I still haven't decided which I think is better. Ta with your first missile, do you want to take out the shields or do you want to take out the weapons? I mean, either one could be good. I guess it just depends on what you likelihood to hit. I I might want to just target both, or the both on the same one. But see, like if all three hit with that burst laser, like they just did, then you know what's the point? Because I just took out a whole system. I'll just finish them off with that burst laser. Whew. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna have him run up there and fix that real quick. Should only take a second. Down there, oh, in case I never mentioned it, down there these bars when they're injured they appear red or disabled they appear blue and you can watch it fill up and that's how you know they're fixed pretty useful. Um, eh, buy a power bar. Because I'm hungry! Alright, power up the engines. Getting a little bit better at evade. See, how is, what's my max evade right now? 25. That is not a bad evade at all. Dodging 25% of shots. That's actually pretty damn good. Um, Alright, so we're going to move him up there. It's a horrible situation. Uh, um, mm, we're gonna commit to no evades at first, and then just try to hammer a shield. So it would be best to move me back to there anyway. There we go. Oh, get the shields back up. Good guy. Again, not trying to use, trying not to use missiles unless I have to. Hit those engines. Move me back up there to get that nice evade. Screw your surrender. Can't get away now. Not. Oh, damn it, man. Well, that just pisses me off. Uh, let's go check out the store. I took out his engines, didn't I? Maybe I just injured it, but still, that's bullshit. Weapons and no money to get them with. Isn't that always the way? <sighs> Maybe I can go check out other shit and get back in some could sell off that, but that wouldn't even put me on enough. 
to get even the Pegasus missile, which I would really want. That would be awesome right there. Um, let's go visit a couple more systems, see if we can get something good out of it. All right, sure. Don't don't screw with the rocks, man. Don't screw with the rocks. Eh, attack the ship. Why not? Because I don't really see anything else I can do. So. Disable those real quick. No weapons for you. And this should finish them off. I don't want to see the shields come up. But it should. Not jumping away this time. What? Just do it. Oh, man. Alright. Let's run, my friend. <sighs> Nothing we can really get from the store, which sucks, because I'm looking for a store for so long. Nah, I don't have money. It's because I upgraded too much. Should have held on to it. Well, hopefully we can get to somewhere that's not as bad. Mantis, if we want to get even more fucked up, uh, let's go Uncharted again. I hate not having power so much of the time. But, alright. Um jump. Let's avoid it, if possible. I know they come faster, but I like being in open space. Not worth it at all. That's a horrible, horrible decision. So, um, not gonna do that. Thank you. Distress. Let's go there. Yes! Woo! And he's a warrior, too. Um, Scott's already gotten pretty damn good at weapons. So we're gonna put him on shields. Um, that's awesome. I like that. Now I'm happy. I'm in a good mood again. Yes. Another distress beacon. Maybe we will luck out once again and get something amazing. Um... Ugh, oh, small asteroid belt. Alright, well. That, that, well that's sad, but that could be worse. Anyway, I'm getting towards half an hour, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll, I'll, uh, have another FTL video up. Maybe the same day, because I'm loving this game. It's so good. Anyway, maybe not, but regardless, thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Check us out, opensourceforthesoul.com, and see you all later.